Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. The new Hearthstone Balance patch came out yesterday and HS Replay now had the first stats available about this patch. So I scored through all the statistics available and made this video about the best decks, the best winners, the top winners of this balance patch. So the methodology behind this video is that I looked through all of the statistics, all of the decks, and I looked at which of the decks had the biggest increases in performance, increases in win rate after the balance patch. Obviously, this does not mean that these are going to be the best, absolute best decks. Also, this doesn't include all of the decks. For example, we can talk about stuff like Unholy Death Knight. Unholy Death Knight still looks totally fine, but it certainly did not increase in its win rate after the balance patch. If anything, there's slight decrease, but it's still really good. All of these decks, on the other hand, are performing better now than they were, but why are they performing better? Obviously, on the patch day, people try to experiment with all sorts of buffed cards and stuff, so yeah, people might be playing weaker decks. And what kind of decks can best exploit the weaknesses of those decks? Many of these decks are very aggressive, so aggressive decks have an upper hand in the early days of a new balance patch. So, okay, that's reflected here. Although there is one notable exception, I will talk about that a little bit later. And also, there are decks that don't yet have enough statistics. For example, people have been talking about Black Rock and Roll Warrior. So you would be able to buff up those minions, play this sort of Contra Warrior deck. Not a single one has recorded statistics on HS Replay yet. There isn't a single list that would have had enough games to be registered there. So I can't tell what the performance of that is, even though like people on Twitter are saying that, hey, this is actually really good. But people on Twitter often say decks are really good, even though they actually suck. So that really doesn't tell you much. Anyway, these eight decks in this video all have had a clear peak in their performance after the balance patch, be it because people are experimenting with bad decks and these are exploiting them, or that these are now actually good in the upcoming meta, or no more in the next few days. Let's dive deeper into the decks. Coming in at number eight, we have Totem Shaman. Totem Shaman obviously was neither buffed nor nerfed, so Totem Shaman continues as it used to do. It was a top 10 deck already before the patch, and it looks even stronger now. Carving Chisel, Stone Ride, just wonderful cards, just making the power of those totems smack enemy in the face. At number 7 we have Burn Mage. Burn Mage looks much better after the patch, it has a noticeable increase in its win rate. This Vexalus list is not exactly new. The, the archetype was already gravitating towards having both Vexalus and Egun as potential win conditions for the archetype. And yeah, now perhaps it's the weaker meta. Perhaps because Mage was neither nerfed or buffed, perhaps it's just in a better position but Burn Mage is doing really well now. And then we also have a Warrior deck here. But this Warrior deck, well, it's not Black Rock and Roll Warrior because there were no stats available of those yet. It's not a Menagerie Warrior. Menagerie Warriors are doing okay, but this one seems to be doing even better. This is Thor's Enrage Warrior. So the list itself was invented already before the balance patch, and getting Chorus Rift buffed definitely cannot hurt the deck. Getting some of its main opponents nerfed also cannot hurt the deck. So Enrage Warrior, the most playable warrior archetype at the moment. And then we come to that exception of aggressive decks, because Control Priest looks really, really strong right now. The big star of the deck is the Blackwater Behemoth. Well, it really helps you defend to kill some minions and heal up. And yeah, Control Priest with all of its associated discover abilities and will just keep the game going and going and going. And there's even a Swalna in the ETC, so you can just keep randomly generating stuff, it's scary. It's really scary. Me played this list yesterday. The list also has scarily strong win rate. So yeah, maybe it is a control priest meta. Who knows? Although so far in terms of win rate, these decks are ordered by win rate. So, so far in terms of win rate, Face Hunter is doing better. This Face Hunter list is not that old either, although it has been around for a while. Previously, the Hybrid Hunter with King Crush and the Strangletone spell seemed to have an upper hand. But right now, again, we're seeing this, hey, you want to be really aggressive at the start of a new meta. And this sort of Face Hunter deck with 
collateral damage at the top end hope of Quelthalas, Hydralodon, Ozic, Dragonbane. This seems to be the way to go at the moment, and it's doing super good. And speaking of Posig, if you're playing an aggressive deck, you should put Posig into it, like into Frost Death Knight. Frost Death Knight currently looks like the strongest Death Knight archetype. Frost Death Knight is like, hey, stuff around me is getting nerfed, yay for that, and boom. It just keeps blasting and I don't even know, do we have a Death Knight problem in the game? Because there's a lot of Death Knights around and Death Knight is still doing extremely well. And now the top Death Knight deck again, Frost. However, it looks like there are a couple of decks that benefit from the balance patch even more. And this is a fun one, actually, because this is Relic Demon Hunter. And yeah, wasn't Demon Hunter like nerfed all over the place? Yes, this deck actually was nerfed as well, because Predation was hit a little bit. But Relic Demon Hunter overall was not hit that hard. It can still discount everything, make everything really cheap, and then go face with Steno and boom. However, on day one, the biggest winner of the balance patch seems to be a pure Paladin. Not a big surprise, many people were expecting Paladin to get nerfed, for example Disco Mall to get hit or something, but Paladin was not hit at all, and I mean, I don't think it necessarily had to. Paladin is strong, but Paladin is typically reasonably fair, except for the Countess, which can be, yeah, Countess can just do Countess things. Anyway, pure Paladin. For the past couple of weeks when I have featured top decks, I have featured the Absalmas list of pure Paladin, the one with Anachronos in it, and that one is still doing fine by the way, no worries about that. But this one seems to be doing slightly better right now, this is more aggressive, and yeah, early in the new patch, more aggressive is typically better. So we'll see which list of pure Paladin is going to be the one that stands the test of time. I think the slower list still has a lot to contribute once the dust settles a little bit, but right now, more aggressive Pure Paladin, even stronger, the biggest winner of the balance patch. All of these decks are doing extremely well at the moment, but obviously it could also be because people are still trying to experiment with other stuff, but we'll see. Anyway, balance patch, getting some changes into the meta, and if you want to climb, these can be good decks to do it right now. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members, and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.